time to musk up. Wow. All right, back again. Today I want to talk about a Chanel that, I don't know, very confusing as far as stock, whether it's discontinued or not. And uh, I'm going to go into all of that, but I wasn't really planning on doing this, but today when I wore it, I, it just was so good on the skin that I was just like, you know what? Let's just get it over with and let's speak about it. Obviously, you're going to know by the title of the video. Right. So let's get right into it. What I'm talking about is Chanel's Cristal Overt. Now, this was released in 2009 by Jacques Poge. It is the flanker to the original Cristal that was uh, Eau de Toilette. That was made, I forgot what year it was made, 1970, or wait, was it before? I'm sorry, I'll, I'll put it up uh, the year that it was made. But this one is basically a fresh flanker. Uh, the notes on it are, from what I remember, lemon, bergamot. Then in the mid, we have neroli and magnolia. And then in the base, there's some iris, jasmine, and musk. And I definitely get all of that here, uh, but I also do get the Chanel aldehydes. So when you first spray this stuff on, it just sparkles. It's kind of like VVS diamonds, like a disco ball. It's just absolutely amazing how they make the citruses work here. And mainly what I get is a little bit more bergamot than I do lemon, but uh, the florals are right away at the top. So you're basically getting the top and the mid right off the bat when you spray this on. It's very green, the uh, the citrus, this, which is why I get uh, bergamot the most, very green tea-like almost. Uh, the magnolia also kind of adds this watery effect, the green watery effect. The neroli here, honestly, neroli is a very tough note for me. It has to be done properly for me to really like it it can really come off like a like a bathroom air freshener if it's not done right but here everything is done very light-handed uh, very watery very fresh effervescent i definitely get some soapiness from a neroli another thing i do want to add about this i forgot to speak about it in the video was the fact that there is an iris note running throughout the fragrance that's very fresh and clean and soapy as well but i mainly do get magnolia i don't know if people on fragrantica say neroli is one of the uh bigger notes in the fragrance but personally for me uh, i think neroli is not one of the main players here i do think it's that as far as the florals are concerned is the iris and the magnolia so a very watery tea like uh, white floral which is really nice perfect for high heat situations like this now i do know this is a unisex fragrance i mean it is a female targeted fragrance but personally in my opinion it is completely right down the middle because everything is is done so light-handed that it's just unisex in my opinion. I don't think any guy should have a problem wearing this because it is, like I said, mainly citrus here and the white florals are not heavily done here. So I don't think there should be any issues. Another thing I do want to mention is I do get a resemblance to the original Cristal, of course, but a lot more modern. And I get this kind of cantaloupe effect as well that I get from Cristal. But here, again, kind of like I said with Duval uh, from the Les O line, you get this green cantaloupe effect. So overall, the fragrance category for this is, uh, I would say, a citrus green floral fragrance. Uh, definitely some musk in the base here to give this fragrance some lift and some longevity. Those kind of laundry detergent, soapy, dry musks. But... Uh, it's not very overly uh, musky fragrance in my opinion and this is an eau de toilette concentré and that is the cool way of saying eau de parfum so this is technically an eau de parfum concentration yeah so i definitely do get that resemblance of duval uh, beiris as well i definitely get some green aromatics here as well although there is nothing listed for uh for aromatic aromatic notes but 
I feel like I get basil here, right? So it kind of gives me touches of Beiritz, and then it kind of gives me touches of Deauville, uh, maybe a little bit of Diorella as well, because Cristal was the answer to Diorella originally. Uh, I get good performance here at last, but the issue here will be lighter uh, projection, right? But everyone's skin is different, so who knows? Another issue here is availability. Unfortunately, from what I remember, it keeps going in and out of stock, in and out of stock. I was able to get this at a Chanel boutique in New York City and Cristal Eau de Toilette. Now, I looked on Chanel.com before making this video and it is in stock currently, but of course, Chanel raised the prices to $160 for 100 ml. Now. That being said, is it a little steep? Yes. Do I think it's still worth it? Yes. Uh, just well-made, finely tuned fragrance from Chanel. Uh, really like it. Like I said, effervescent, sparkling, citrus, white florals, green, aromatic, uh, a little fresh spiciness here as well, a little musky. Just an easy, enjoyable wear during the summertime, springtime, and a little bit during the fall as well. Although you could wear this year round, great for the office, things like that. And yeah, really nice. Uh, look around, try it, see. I know Saks sometimes has it in store. Uh, sometimes, I think Saks, Neiman's, I've seen it in store before. And in uh, Chanel boutiques, like I said, of course, you're going to find it in store. You can try it. If anybody uh, wants to find a bottle or, or see if they have a bottle at a Chanel boutique, I do have a phone number to a sales rep there that can help you out. And so if you want the number, just let me know in the comment section and I'll be uh, more than happy to uh, share it with you. All right. That is my review of Cristal Overt. Let me know if you've tried it. Let me know if you like it. And if you don't like it, all right, love to see your comments in the uh, comment section. Take care, guys. Bye. And ladies, we got to change that up.